Good morning from Daddy and Jackson. What are we gonna do today? Colors. We're gonna do colors. You got chocolate on your face because you had a, a hard to explain. A drink. A drink. Yeah. Not really chocolate, but we call it chocolate. Right, buddy? Can I be chocolate? I think so. C H O C O L A T E. Chocolate. Can I spell what? Sign. Sign? S I G N. Sign. Why do you want to sign? I don't know. You don't know? That happens well, sometimes. Outside. The signs are outside? Uh huh. Yeah. What are we going to do today? We're going to, we're going to color? We're going to paint? Uh, it's my hand. You're going to do some finger painting? Uh huh. All right. Also, we're listening to Bluey. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background or not, but let's do it. Let's do some finger painting. Heck yeah. Good times. Let's do red. Do red. All right, put it on the paper. Whoa, look at this color you're making. It's beautiful. Ooh. Looks like ketchup and mustard. What about the blue? Wow. It's so pretty. We switched from one hand to both hands. And now we're making a masterpiece. So one of the books that Jackson loves to read is this Santa's Workshop Lift a Flap. But like, Mrs. Claus's should just have an apostrophe after the S, right? Not two S's. That's incorrect grammar, right buddy? Yeah, he knows. You putting it away? Last time we did a Prosperity Pig, did we have some sort of clause but like if the pennies didn't fall out, you did something? Cause like, our pennies are not falling out. It's literally been almost four months and, or the end of three months and it's, they're, they're still sticking in there. Also Jackson planted some sunflowers and some carrots. Look at that, we got a carrot growing. You wanna eat some carrots? One of the games that Jackson and I always play is Jackson tries to put me to sleep. Right buddy? No, I have to have one of his pacifiers. And then a, a ball for some reason. Close the eyes. So here's me going to sleep with a pacifier and a ball. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who woke me up like this? <laughs> He's putting everything in his bed now. Jackson, we're going to get a haircut. Are you excited? Yeah? You like getting your hair cut? Yeah, me too. How are we gonna get your hair cut? We're gonna do a buzz cut? Oh, I think, yeah. like that? Okay, I like it. We'll do it. Really into boss, baby. <laughs> okay, so we are back home from getting our hair cut. Jackson picked out a toy that clicks. Looks like a bug. That's one thing nice about this place that we go get a haircut out is that he goes and gets his haircut out. It's like give him a toy. So now it's lunchtime, so we have to make our peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Jackson. So you have your little plastic knife here, right? Plastic knife. All right. Let's do some peanut butter. Put some peanut butter. Are you gonna eat it or are you gonna put it on the bread? You're just gonna eat it. You helping me spread it? And you put some on there. Yeah. Eating them. And some more of the peanut butter. Some more peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Well, let's put the jelly on first, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I put that on that. I see. Uh oh. I'll get it, don't worry. You can leave it alone. Good job. Mm. Nice work. I think the single greatest thing about kids is when they first wake up from a nap that they that they needed to sleep longer for and they don't make any sense. So like take for instance this guy right here woke up from his nap and he said he was hungry. So I said, okay, let's go get some food. And he said, no, I want to play. He started crying. And then I said, okay, let's go play. We just have to go put our play clothes on. And then he got mad at me for saying that we wanted to change our clothes. And then I flushed the toilet and he got mad at me for flushing the toilet, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. So now, he's got sunscreen on. I got sunscreen. I got a lot of sunscreen on one arm because Jackson's helping. And we're going to go to the park. You ready for it? Like Maybe. Uh, we'll see. Uh, All right, we're at the playground. This playground's wild because it's just like in between two houses. So <laughs> imagine living in this house right next door to a playground. That would be awesome. Also, it has a, a like a, a slide in the in the side of the hill. Big slide. All right, buddy. Let's see. It's real good. This is the first slide that he's been down that does it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That doesn't have like a platform at the top whoa. for him to, to sit down on. You gonna go down this bumpy one? Playgrounds are wild in my opinion because like you couldn't build a deck on the back of the house that just has like an opening that's five feet off the ground but they're like playground? Totally fine. Do that. Here's a handle on the side for you to do I don't know what to. It feels like there was supposed to be something else here but it's not here anymore. We actually just came from another park that there were too many kids at, so that's why I didn't show any of that park. But he fell into a rose bush at the other park. And it kind of surprised me with that they had rose bushes at a playground because like they have thorns on them. What's that? You want me to go down the slide? Okay. Okay, here I go. Yay, daddy's going down the slide. Here we go. Whoa, Ooh, I went pretty fast, didn't I? That was a big buddy fast slide, right? You can do it, there you go. Whoa, nice work. Again. You again? Me again? again? Okay. Jackson asked to hold the camera. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Put your feet out. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> nice work, bud. Now you show me. I'm going to come down. The camera will go down. You're just going to throw the camera down? No. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. Whoa! Again. All right. Again. We went back on the boardwalk. My shoes are squeaking because I told Jackson there was a pine cone and he's going to throw it out here for the squirrels to eat. All right, throw it out there. Nice work, buddy. What else is over here? This is pretty wild because we were just at a playground and like right behind the playground was this boardwalk and now we're just in the middle of the woods. Right, buddy? We're just like in a swamp. And there's no railings either, which is very strange to me. Like I feel like things should have railings. Pine we're looking for pine cones. Pine we'll see if we find one. We found one already, but we gotta see if we can find a second one. I'll tell you what, if I was just out here and just like meandering around and I panned really fast past this. What would you guys think? Would you guys be like, oh my goodness, there's a big Bigfoot over there. Right? The... That's Big the Foot, buddy. All right, so we are back home. Jen's been at home editing the Star Cruiser videos nonstop. There's so much footage, that's what she's just been in there editing them. And then doing the regular videos for the day, too. So um now we're getting ready to cook some steak that we got at the farmer's market well i've already started making dinner so Ooh. i've got some veggies in the oven veggies in the oven i've got some steak ready to go in the pan oh my goodness gracious well, those look good i think i can only do one at a time though because they're yeah. so big we're gonna sear them in the cast iron yeah and they've been marinating with salt and pepper for an hour so let me ask you is this a filet right here no Oh, okay. Right? The filet is the other side of a T-bone. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is a ribeye. So I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, a porterhouse is the T-bone and the filet still together. And then if you get a filet or a T-bone, they're separated. So, and then we're making some sweet potatoes in the microwave because it's easy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this dinner right here. These vegetables, this potato, this steak. The perfect dinner. What? Push it, push it again. Can you push, push it. it again? Not that one. You're gonna zoom? <laughs> he pushed zoom, he's like, I'm gonna zoom call somebody. He's like, I gotta push it, push and hold the button. And then ask Siri. What blue one? The zoom, zoom one. <laughs> no. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. My friend told me she started a new craft. I asked, which craft? 
And for some reason, she got offended and turned me into a newt. <laughs> she turned me into a newt. A newt? Well, I got better. <laughs> so you guys know that if I have an idea, I like to share it with you guys. So, and this idea is very specific, like extremely specific to somebody that wants to start a restaurant. So, uh, we drive by this restaurant occasionally, actually a few different restaurants occasionally, that are always hopping. Like there's always a ton of people at them. And I'm like, oh, the food must be good. And we went to a, a couple of both, like both of the different ones that we've seen like this, and neither one had good food. But there was like, people are just like lining up to get inside. And I was like, what is going on here? And it's because they focus on the drink in the name. Like their, their restaurant's not about food, but it is a restaurant. It's more about the alcohol and the drink. And I was like, well, that's very strange, but I think that's what it is. I think people go somewhere because they have like a, like a, like a thought in their brain that they're like, oh, that's going to be fun. Let's go there. And then they're just there for like the company and they keep going back because they're like, oh, we had such fun the last time we were there because we were all hanging out together. Uh, but the food was not good and nobody really remembers the food, but like you didn't, you, you don't have to. So there it is. So if you're looking to start a restaurant with mediocre food, focus on a specific drink and then you should, you'll be a millionaire overnight. Ah, the perfect example, Margaritaville. Like, admittedly, the food at Margaritaville is not bad, but it's not amazing. You know, like a cheeseburger in paradise is just a cheeseburger. There's not anything phenomenal about it, but it's the idea that like, Jimmy Buffett sings this song about Margaritaville and you're like, oh, I would like to go to there. Uh, he makes it sound fun in his song. And so you like, you, you get it in your mind, like this will be a fun time and then you go to Margaritaville and you have a good time with your friends and you don't remember the fact you're like, oh, I ordered the cheeseburger in paradise. And people are like, how was it? And you're like, we had a really good time. You know, ladies and gentlemen, my wife. My uh, <laughs> wife. <laughs> I don't think, like Borat will never not be funny to me. Right. I mean, like it could be, we could be like 70 years old and I would still be like, like, very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today, mm -hmm. this is probably like a continuation of on vlogs, or it's its own thing. We don't know yet. <laughs> the life is a surprise. Um, today, we're going to film a live show. We're going to do a live show. Yeah, so we didn't have a video yesterday, and I think this video is going to go up like to where yesterday is actually yesterday for you guys. Whoa. I'm pretty sure. So yesterday, we didn't have a video. I just wasn't feeling very good. And I'm still not feeling very good, but I'm feeling better than I have been. So I'll talk more about it later, I think. But I did schedule like some blood work and stuff, so I may hopefully figure out what's going on. But uh, but yeah, today I feel a little bit better, so we're gonna see if we can hang out live with you guys. Yeah. We'll probably like show the live show in this vlog. Also, I didn't mention this, but before we hired Lynn, she told us that she had a vacation planned. Oh yeah. So she's not here this week, so that's why it's been like. Me with Jackson at the park all week. Yeah, and I've been, I'm still editing the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser videos. It's just been so much footage. Right. And I'm also trying to get videos out like dirt, like for each day. So I'm just I'm slowly chipping away at the Star Cruiser video. Right. But I also wasn't feeling well. It's just, it was a lot. There was a lot happening. But yeah, so, uh, so now we're getting ready for the live show. I'm eating some spicy noodles. They're delicious. That's my lunch. But I also wanted to show you this before the live show just really quick because I want to pop it in the washer and dryer. Ooh. All right, so we've been talking about like getting a pillow for Jackson for his bed and I'm still kind of like nervous about is it okay to get a pillow for him? I know they have toddler pillows. I looked into that. But when I was looking into that, I found this. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see? Oh, is that the back? That was the back. Was that the back? I think either side is the back. <laughs> no. So it's all called, in one. Well, it's called pillow sheets. And so basically it's a sheet that goes on his bed and it has a pillow like built into the sheet. That's the shape. It kind of keeps them in this position. You can see this kid is sleeping there, but they have what's called angel arms. So these are like pillow like lumps basically. And then the little, it's like a, I don't, I would call it like a half pillow. It's not like fully fluffed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a way to introduce pillows to your toddler. 
Oh, it looks interesting to me. So yeah, it says it's the safest way to introduce a pillow. It maintains the sleep position and it eliminates pillow shifting. Also, sheeps. <laughs> yeah. So I got this. I I was reading into the company and it's something that um I don't know just sounded really interesting. And you can buy these at Target. Yeah. It was seventy bucks, so it was a little bit expensive. But I don't know. I read some really good reviews. Like every single review was like, "This is the best thing ever." This is like I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Like why didn't I buy this sooner? So. I'm gonna wash this and pop it on his bed and, and see see what he thinks. So this is how he normally sleeps. There's a picture right here of a baby that's sleeping like tummy down. And this is how he normally sleeps. And so I figure, I don't know, hopefully he's this comfortable. We'll also mention when we go on vacation, sometimes he does use a pillow, mm -hmm. but oftentimes he'll like push it out of the way. So I'm really interested to see. Yeah, if this were. <laughs> yeah, if he likes this. That's why I got one. Cause when I was showing Tim, he's like, get two of them. And I was like, oh, let me just wait. He might not like this. Right. But I'm excited to see what he thinks, so. We'll see. Yeah. Let's go do a live show. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> all right, so here is the live show. Sorry, the quality is probably kind of bad because it's on my phone. HMJK. Bye, you guys. Thank you for coming bye. and hanging out with us. Say bye-bye. 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 Have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> Say, I hope you enjoy your dinner. Oh yeah, if it's dinner time for you guys, I hope you enjoy your dinner. I hope you have a great night. And we will see you next week with another live show. Say so if it's night time, if it's night night, say night night. Night night. <laughs> That's oh, right. Yeah, All right. Eye. Bye you guys. Hey. You wanna go swimming in the pool? We're gonna okay. check the temperature right now. I right? just finished editing the video that went out. The video where Tim went and saw Jimmy Allen at Universal and we went to the park with our friends. And we just had our live show. And Jackson. We can't go in the pool, buddy. Well, I can check the temperature. So we're gonna check and see the temperature. Whoa, we, because it was, it's been cold, but we had a couple of hot days. Well, hot right well so Jackson's like, oh, the pool is hot. Let's get in the pool. But the pool isn't hot. Okay, I'm gonna take his shoes off so that he can put his feet in. 72 degrees. Oh, so it's like the springs. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's the temperature of the springs. Oh. Like the, the natural like Florida springs where you can go and swim and it's freezing all throughout the year. Okay, let's feel it. Let's see. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, okay. Whoa, is that so cold? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> so is the pool hot or cold? Cold. Oh yeah. no. So do you want to go swimming in the cold pool? In that. Oh, the hot tub? But it's not really hot, buddy. It's it's also cold. It's a cold tub. It's a cold tub, bud. No water there. I'm just gonna dip your toes in. Whoa. Is it cold? It's still cold. So maybe we wait to go in the pool for when it's a little bit warmer? What do you think? Yeah. When do you think it'll actually warm up? Um, next month? Next month? Yeah. You gotta wait a whole month? Yeah, did you test it? No, I didn't. Mommy's gonna put her feet in. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> oh, no thank you. We've been swimming in 72 degrees before, it's not fun. No, we've been swimming in 72 degrees at the springs. Oh, yeah. But I think it's different at the springs. The pool is like, I don't know, you expect the springs to be cold every time, but the pool, it's like, well, I want it to be a little bit warm. So we actually, um, we have, they they had this, this pool was heated like by solar when we first bought the house. Yeah. Um, and then I think they cut the solar lines or something happened, there like the a, heater. There was a leak up high and then I Oh, the that's what it was. Yeah, there was a leak and we didn't want to have a leak on the roof. So our pool is no longer heated, unfortunately. Yeah, so there was a leak and I needed to replace the wow. pool pump. And so in order wow. to replace the pool pump, it was easier for me to cut the solar lines <laughs> out. So I did. <laughs> Jackson, we're all done. Okay. Well, he's having a great time testing the pool water. So long story short, we're not gonna be swimming in the pool today. Here's something else that we like to do. We like to play sink or float. And he goes around and he picks things that he thinks might float or sink. And he throws them in this bucket of water. We have all these other like things out here that he can test, like all the rubber duckies and stuff. Oh, that one's floating. And that one's sinking. What about your ducks? Do they float or sink? Whoa. They float? One of the little ducks. Check the little ducks. Whoa. Yeah, you can't make that one sink. It only floats. But I wanted to show you all this because I thought it was interesting. Trigger warning for those of you guys that are, don't like snakes. This is a snake skin over here. Very big. There's one one solid shed from one spot to the other. And I like trying to figure it out. He would start at his face, right? So this came off first. 
and then he went through here and came out this end so he's probably over here in the uh in the rock somewhere it's a black snake so no big deal there like we like black snakes they're good. No, I came outside to get the camera because I wanted to get the camera to show you guys because I'm making dinner. And then Tim said, come see this gigantic snake skin. Yeah, it's over there. Wait, you're not even going to come with me? It's just the skin. He's like, you go, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's like a solid four feet from end to end like this. Maybe not four feet, three and a half. Oh my God. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how, uh, like how dinner's going. And let's see, I'm making some... Oh, it's very dark. Hold on. Let me go in the kitchen so you can see me. All right, so I am making a spicy pan braised fennel with sausage and butter bean mash. So it looks like this. I don't think mine's probably going to look like this, but we'll, we'll try. So it's very involved. I've never cooked with fennel, like a fennel bulb before. Um, there's a lot of prep work for this one. So, okay, we're going to start by roasting our vegan sausage and our fennel in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. So I'm sorry I'm not showing you everything I'm doing. The sausage and fennel are cooked. I have a spicy tomato and gochujang sauce here. I've got my butter beans and fennel have been cooking with a little bit of garlic. <laughs> this recipe is so like, I don't think this is something that people are just gonna like have all the things on hand to make it. I'll leave, I'll link the recipe down below, but I feel like this is one of those things unless you have the purple carrot box, you probably aren't gonna make this dish, but I'll show you everything at the end. It's just, this is a hard one. Ooh, buddy. <laughs> this looks good. I had to, so that's one thing with purple carrot is that you literally have to use some recipes. You have to use like every single pot and pan in your house. I'm sorry, this is Jackson's dinner. I'm just, oh, yeah. I, I accidentally made, it said to make only half of the sausage for the, uh, for our dinner. And um, I made it all on accident. I wasn't reading it fully. So I'm going to give him the other half but he can't have ours, so last night he ate what we ate. Um, but tonight ours is gonna be a little bit spicy, and so I just don't know if he's gonna like it. Yeah, so, so I made him the pasta sauce that I made that's like all roasted vegetables, mm -hmm. and he loves that. So he's getting a ton of veggies in the sauce. It's like carrots, broccoli, the tomato sauce, zucchini, and then he's gonna have the sausage. Yeah. So, but we are going to have our spicy braised fennel thing. And Sounds delicious. So far, it actually like, it smells and tastes pretty good. So I made some butter beans. That's what's in the uh, emulsion blender thingy right there. Oh, this was butter beans? Yeah, it's butter beans and fennel and lemon juice. Okay. And garlic. All right. And then the braised thing, you can open that lid up and see it should be done. Yes, you can, Jackson. I, I gotta put it on your plate. Ooh, this is the braised thing. Yeah, so it's like fennel, butter beans, onions, um, and some. I'm missing something else. There's something else. Something there. red. Oh, that's the goju jing tomato sauce. So oh, it's like okay. a spicy tomato sauce. Right. So here's his. This pasta. is the sausage. So just before dinner, Jackson is getting just the tiniest bit of screen time. This is probably about. Maybe the fifth minute of screen time that he's had all day. So he's doing pretty good. Rest of the time he's been outside. Ooh, crispy oh. onion. Oh, that's one of the um, the garnishes. I love it. So I'm gonna start by putting some of the butter bean mash. It's not really a mash though. It's kind of more soupy. Call than it I a thought. puree. Yeah. So it tastes really good. I just wonder if I left too much water in. Then top it with my braised fennel and butter beans. What does braised mean? I'm not, I think just like I cooked it in the pan. <laughs> I don't really know. Ooh. So okay. there's it looks, that. Looks fun. So now I'm gonna top it with my vegan sausages. Sorry, this plating is not as beautiful as I would like for it to be. I think it's beautiful. Okay. And then, I think that's enough sausage for you? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, and then we're gonna top it with oh. some of our extra fennel fronds. Okay. And a What's lemon, that? oh geez, lemon, oh, lemon zest. zest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's some lemon zest. Very zesty. We'll have to mix that up on the plate a little bit, I think. And then some crispy onions. So these, they just, they just sent some crispy onions. I didn't cook these or anything. Yeah. So there it is. I hope you like it. I think I will. So dinner is done. I wanted to show you literally like the mess that I made making this dinner. Um, it was a lot. So 
I like purple carrot, I do, but sometimes it's it can be like an overwhelming thing to cook. But there you go. I'm like halfway done with mine. Um, this is so good. <laughs> like, if this wasn't so hard to make, I would totally make this again. This was so, so good. This is delicious. Yeah, I feel like the only thing I didn't have on hand, a lot of these purple carrot recipes call for tomato powder. Hmm. And I never, I, I didn't even know that was a thing until I got purple carrot. So a lot of them call for tomato powder. So that's the one thing I, and the goju jing, I don't have that on hand, but I could get it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I feel like I could probably find these other things fairly easily. Yeah, I think I would definitely make this again for sure. This is really, really good. It's spicy. Like I have like the, you know, like my, my lips are a little bit spicy, but I love this. It tastes so, um, what's the word? Like good umami. Oh yeah. It has that umami flavor. I love it. That's my word. No, I mean, that's what it is though. Mm. It's very good. <laughs> okay, so his, kind of hard to see, sorry, because there is a shadow on the bed, but his new sheet is all clean and there is some fuzz on it from his new blanket, which is very, very fluffy, which is that one right there. But his new, maybe if I cover it, you can kind of see it better. <laughs> it's like really having a hard time, dang. But I think that this is something that he's gonna like. So, so any of you guys that have been to Florida know that our water that comes out of our taps is not the best uh, tasting. It is full of minerals though. So that's good for you. Like it's healthy water, but unfortunately the, all those minerals really wreak havoc on our pipes and on our fixtures especially. So I'm gonna show you guys our shower head from our bathroom upstairs. It needs to be cleaned. It needs to be descaled, and I'm gonna do that tonight. So here's our shower head. It doesn't look too terrible, but like these little holes here are full of all sorts of sediment and it needs to be soaked in vinegar. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Let it soak for a little bit. Should clean it up nicely. All right, there it is, soaking in vinegar. Then I gotta clean up this backside here too, a little bit of like soap scum on the back there. Then it should be good as new. Let it soak for like maybe an hour. All right, so it's the next day. What are you doing? Don't like me. Don't like me. Yeah. No, that's not nice. It is the next day. <laughs> Sorry, and that loud noise is the air fryer. Now he's licking me. Oh no, don't lick My people. Sock. Oh, that's not nice gross. to do. Nobody wants to be licked. Gross. Um, so how did the uh, shower head do after shower the- head did really good. Yeah. Uh, side note, the rash underneath my arm came out. What? Recycling? Oh, you want to throw that in the recycling? Yes, you may. Thank you, buddy. Good job. Thank you for helping. Yeah, so your allergy, I think, we think it's, it's allergies. allergies. I don't know, but it's, it's like, it's it's back. It's super red right now. Yeah, you also got a haircut, got a haircut. today. Yeah, yeah, so that's why you look a little different than the last clip. Very well, nice. Hey, bud. This guy is um, being yeah. wild today. Yeah, skipped a nap today, so. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Also, he did pretty good with his new sheet set. Yeah, he slept extra long. Yeah, like, he, slept he slept until, until 7.30. Which normally he gets up at like 6.50. Buddy, you gotta calm down, that's gonna hurt you. Okay? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think he likes the sheet set. I'm not totally 100% sure, because it was only been one night. Right, we'll and keep you updated. Didn't work out, so. Yeah, and he didn't nap. But I don't know if that was zipper. due to the to the sheets, I'm not sure. Where'd you go? He's, he's playing with the zipper on my pant pocket. Oh, okay. But we're gonna go ahead and end the video here, because yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a week long video if we don't end it. But all in all, it was a fantastic <laughs> day. Yeah. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you. Good job. You've got a break dance? All right. <laughs>